not totally sure. That's Alex Henry. He will kick it off for Philadelphia. Low wobbler sliding in the snow. Someone's got to pick it up. It's Jeremy Ross. He's at the 15 and up to the 20 and belts it. At their own 16-yard line, Reggie Bush not starting this game. Joy Bell and Stafford are going to throw it. It's a duck, and it's incomplete. That'll give you an idea what you're looking at, John. One of the guys with the hardest, excuse me, the strongest throwing arms in the league just threw that pass. And they fumble the football, and Stafford does recover for no gain. They're going to dump it off to Bell. Looking for his footing, and he's going to be shy of the first down. You can know Reggie Bush the whole opening series. Lions will punt it. Jackson is back. Good punt in this weather. Jackson is going backwards. In normal weather, in this weather, it could be very tough. Foles going to throw it. Get it to Brent Sell at the tight end. We lose one tackle. He's going to pick up a couple yards. This is for the Detroit defense. And movement. Get our first penalty of the day. Willie Young jumped offside. See if he was baited. Neutral zone infraction defense. Number 79. The five-yard penalty. It's second down. And they pitch it to Jackson. Lions are ready for it. Jackson's in trouble. And he loses bait. He's going to hand off. McCoy has it well shy of a first down, and the Eagles will punt it away. Jones gets the punt off, and this one's a wiggler, and it slides out of bounds. Fox's technology showing you the yard lines, because obviously on the field, they're invisible. Joy Bell plotting forward with a nice gain on first down. We'll give him eight to practice. Molly didn't see it, and a fumble by Stafford. Bell falls on it, I think, and he did get it back, back at the original line of scrimmage, so a third and ten. Stafford has time for a man rush over the middle, and he's got Megatron who falls forward for the first, first down of the game. Grant does such a great job on our crew when she fills in, but Aaron Andrews, now I know why she couldn't join us this week. See that? She knew something about the weather, we didn't. Yeah, he's got the first down. That's on the 45 and a half. It's Joy Bell for the game of the call at three. It's Calvin Johnson in motion. And it's Bell with some room. And he breaks the tackles out across for what looks like a first down. We have our away with it. Lines have a couple of first downs on this drive, and it's Bell. And a good tackle by D'Amico Ryans. Had a terrific year for Philadelphia. Another fumble, and Stafford falls on it. I'll give you an idea just how tough it is to handle out there. Play clock at one. They're not going to get it off. Question is, did the officials see it? I don't think they saw it. And incomplete. He did see it. He stopped the play. Did they? Yeah. Okay. I mean, ball penalty. Delay of game before the ball was slapped. Snap. The play clock ran out. Offense. It's a five-yard penalty. Repeat third down. They're top of your screen. No idea who he's matched up against. Pressure coming. Stafford has a completion. And he's inside the 30, down to the 25. It's Brandon Pettigrew, the tight end, is to get a fast start and not play from behind. Here's Bell. And just nowhere to go. Nowhere to run for Joy Bell that time. Quarter of the way up the football. Draw to Joy Bell. And he's got no. Oh, he breaks through. Nifty running from Joy Bell. And now the ball is loose. And the Eagles say they have it. Ball was fumbled. Philadelphia ball, first down. Here's a uh, review of the fumble. Good luck, instant replay official. <laughs> I think it's out there. Right there. See his arm cave? I think that I think it's out right at that point. And Carwin, uh, Connor Barwin came up with it, so I don't know how in the world you'd overturn it. Connor Barwin, sleeveless. Who, the ruling on the field stands as called. Philadelphia ball, first down. McCoy is the back. McCoy gets it. 
And tries to bounce it outside. He is buried backwards. Gust. Eagles are at their own 16-yard line. Running it again. And McCoy gets up to the 21. It's a gain of five. Looks like they're going business as usual. I wonder if they might at some point. It's a third and nine. Fall is going to throw it incomplete. He was looking for Riley Cooper. We got None of that's possible in this type of weather. Donnie Jones. Good booming kick. Wow. Ross backpedaling. It's a good block. Ross leaping over people into the snow, still on his feet, but then shoved out of bounds. In his third possession, they put together a 10-play drive last time, but fumbled. And they start out on their own 40 with Joyke Bell pushing forward. And a gain of, we'll call it five. Bell had his best career game last week with 94 yards rushing. He's got 28 so far. He gets it again on a second down, and he spins his way near the first down, right around midfield. Wow, he's got an elbow injury, questionable return, so Jason Fox remains in the game. And now the Lions getting some traction with the run game. It's Bell again with a four-yard carry. Inches upon inches of snow, so this took both teams by surprise. Fake it, and Johnson's going to fire over the middle incomplete. He was looking for Burleson. Plenty of time. Stafford's going to air it out deep for Johnson. He's got it. Calvin Johnson makes the catch down around the 10-yard line. Kerry Williams on the coverage with a face full of snow for Megatron. Kevin Ogletree in the game for the Lions at receiver. Top of your screen. It's Joyke Bell. And he's going to get maybe a yard. Found the Eagle 13. We're going to give to Bell on the draw. And Bell works it down to the 10. The screen, Calvin Johnson to the bottom. The draw to Bell. And Bell is wrapped up for no gain. And they wait, there's a fumble. At least the Eagles say so. And the signal is Philadelphia football. Teal, they're so talented, so explosive. It's the one thing that bites them. A little bit of excuse today, but it's symbolic of their entire season. Falls has a year. He's going to throw nobody there but Lions incomplete. He was looking for Jackson, but he was behind the play. Over bottom of your screen. And McCoy goes nowhere. By the 99 miles, he calculated that perfectly. Third down for Falls. A lot of time again for Cooper. He hauls it in, I believe. No. It hit the ground incomplete. Earlier, it's Jeremy Ross back to receive. Ross will let it bounce. And the Eagles will cover it. And two, Lions have really dominated, but they fumbled twice at the end of long drives, and that's why we're scoreless. And Riddick goes nowhere on first down. This is, but the field is still a mess. Fumble again, the sixth by the Lions. Stafford Barrett in the air. And incomplete. Third and ten. Stafford's going to air it out, and he's incomplete. He was looking for Doran Dickerson. He's a third-string tight end, but he couldn't make the catch. Receivers for Detroit can make some hay. A little stumble on the punt try, and now a wobbler. And Deshaun Jackson runs up thinking about touching it, but won't. And the Eagles will take over. And the Eagles offense hasn't been able to do a thing. A lot of time. Foles looking for Cooper. And it's intercepted. Intercepted by Houston. Running far side. Still on his feet. And out of bounds at the 20. They give a handoff. And nothing doing that time. So Riddick is in there on a second and ten. Burleson stays on his feet and fights forward for a gain of about eight. Third and two. Blitz coming, hit as he throws, incomplete. He was looking for Durham. Stafford got knocked down, the ball a little behind him. Get it out to Bell in space, first down and more, sliding inside the five. They give it to Bell again up the middle, touchdown Detroit. 
Riddick and Bell in the backfield of Stafford. He's going to throw it, tipped, and Bell catches. Two-point conversion, good. It's 8-0 Detroit. Converted a big fourth down, and then Joy Bell powers in his seventh touchdown of the year. He also caught the two. It's 8-0 Lions. The path is somewhat cleared, and Martin actually gets a pretty respectable kick that dies in the mound of snow in the end zone, and the Eagles will start on their own 20. Not going to be able to keep up with the Lions. The draw to McCoy, who finally has some space, and McCoy gains the gap in the ground and cutting hard to do in this weather. McCoy 15 yards rushing before that carry, which will net the Eagles a first down, their first of the game. Eagles on their own 31. And they give to McCoy again, who eluded the first tackle, but give him one. His future is so bright for the Detroit Lions. Falls, drop it, and then gets dropped. The running back, first time McCoy's gotten a rest, and he'll get it. And Brown powers forward on a third and long, but that's not nearly enough, and the Eagles will punt it again. Good job punting today. Rasheen Mathis and Jeremy Ross both back to receive. First time Detroit's done that. It was a low one, though. Mathis going to let it go. It's just too hard to pick up and risk fumbling. Play with Matt Stafford at Georgia. Here's Joyke Bell. And Joyke, tough sled in there. Hard time with him this week. You're right. Humble indeed. It's Bell again. And Bell's going to move it forward to the 40. Third down. Stafford's got a year. And now over the middle. Nice play is knocked away. To get the Eagles off the field. Sam Martin, the rookie, gets off a booming punt. And it'll die down at the 11. Eagles have 16 total yards in the weather today. It's McCoy with a big hole in his best run. And LaShawn McCoy has a first down. Detroit Lion defense, but they need to stick to it. Give it to him again. Stutter step. Nice move. Good run. Game. Give him six on that play. Two, at least on this drive. McCoy able to cut and has another Eagles first down. Still on his feet. And sliding down is McCoy. Quick. Hopefully that's not what it looks like. Thanks, Joel. First and ten is Chris Polk getting the carry and he goes nowhere <laughs> give it to Polk again big hole up the middle and Polk has a run that's going to put him about a yard and a half shy of the first down encroachment defense number 98 five yard penalty results in a first down it's on Nick Fairley if I were his offensive lineman I'd been right there asking Sue about that in Lions territory now and McCoy goes ahead for one. Time to feel. Entire Philly Sanitation Department waiting outside for the break. Falls on second. Lofting it for Jackson. Is he inbounds? He certainly is. First down, Philadelphia. From the Lion 27, it's McCoy. And McCoy gets inside the 25. Ball at the 24. Falls the throw it. It's Jackson. Good stiff arm, and Jackson has a first down before he's thrown out of bounds. Ooh. McCoy, the single back, he'll get it. And gets met and dropped. Nick Fairley. Big drive for the Eagles of Fagan. Falls, pressure coming from Fairley. Throwing for Cooper, knocked away. Mathis, a nice comeback to knock it down, and a third down is coming up. Set up a screen to Riley Cooper, and the Lions play it well. Got to get it to the two. Falls is all day. Throwing end zone jump ball. Cooper knocked away again by Mathis. And the Lions make a fourth down stand. And hand it to Bell. Second and three, Lions seem content just run it into the half with an eight nothing lead. And we remind you, this is a huge game. They're in the victory formation because they don't want to turn it over, and they can just run it out right here. 
And that's it. They don't have to run another play. Half over. You can see the field is still got plenty of snow on it. And it'll die in the snow. Boykin will take it. Eagles. Bowls with time. Looking for Cooper, and he can't connect. That has been a tough connection all day long. And you can see the yard lines obviously are from the Fox technology. But the officials kind of working blind here today. Falls again with time. He's going to run it for the first time and be sandwiched by Nick Farley. Fairly, I should say. He's going to pick up four. Half your helmet. <laughs> Eagles 0 for 5 on third down today, and they almost missed that handoff. McCoy on the sprint first down, Philadelphia. Another little. Uh, starting to look like the LaShawn McCoy we all know. They'll get it again and get wrapped up immediately. And Dominican Sue, fantastic season. As good a season as Dominican Sue has had in this league, and that's saying something. Falls in trouble, just unloads, and then gets buried. They stand today. Jeff Mayle, a first year receiver from Oregon, is in the game now. Falls going for Zach Ertz, but. Miscommunication, it's way over the head, incomplete, and again, the Eagles will punt it away. Yeah, big hands, you think he'd be able to control the ball, but he clearly is having trouble with it. Look at the hang time from Jones on the punt. And so the first possession for the Lions in the second half, they're going to run it to the hard-charging Bell. they got to keep up with Dallas to do so. Bell one more time on a second down and pushing the pile forward. Stafford has time and he slings it to Bell who's got the first down. And he steps out of bounds, whistle blows, he steps out of bounds. Kerry Williams on the hit, but the Lions move the chain. He's got the only touchdown of the game. This is Riddick though. And a nice run by Riddick. Theo Riddick, the rookie from Notre Dame, is in the Eagles' territory for Trent Cole. Riddick, first down. Lions. To make all those other things they're doing so well shine. Riddick remains in the game. We're going to throw it, but Durham dropped it. And you can see the talent. I think Jim Schwartz, you give him a lot of credit. Bell back in the game, gets the carry. And bring up a third down. And Bell gets stuffed, but I'd be hard-pressed to think this isn't four-down territory. So Martin will punt it away. A little drop kick. And Deshaun Jackson with a fair catch up at the 11. Eight to nothing. The give to McCoy. He's got 64 yards in the day. Dancing around and Perry for a big loss. Boy, big hole up the middle and gets tripped up. That could have been an even bigger play. Brown on the blitz from the Lions and they make the play. They are accustomed to using Nick Foles under center a bunch. Hasn't been under center a bunch this season. It's Ross. Returnable punt if he gets footing. And he does. Jeremy Ross through the snow. On his slate of the end zone. Hard to find a way to make big plays in this game. And terrific job by the return team, but really just by Jeremy Ross keeping his footing in this weather. And you see all the Eagles chasing them, but Jeremy Ross, outstanding return. This is guy, Joseph Foria, that Stafford has liked in the red zone all year. Looking for him incomplete. 47 games since a punt return touchdown for the Lions from Eddie Drummond. And Ross gives Detroit a 14-0 lead. The Eagles fans looking for something from their special teams. It's Polk who will take it out to the 25. Lions have a commanding 14-0 lead, at least in this weather. And Foles going to swing it out to McCoy. And the Lions are on top of that after a couple-yard gain. Really young with the tackle. It's McCoy who was met by Ashley Palmer for no gain. We've got the Eagles in another third down. They're only one of eight on third. And there was some movement there. Going to keep this game flowing. Encroachment, defense. 
And there's 69. Five yard penalty. It's third down. I think he meant Millet, Willie Young at 79, not 69. Or 96. <laughs> Flew well. Correction, my mistake. Yeah, there we 69 go. is the offense. Ball start offense. Oh! Reached out and touched the defender. Five yard oh. penalty. It's third down. Lions number one in the league on third down defense. Foles throwing far side, first down to Sean Jackson. Throw the football effectively. Time for Foles and a lot of it getting aired out deep down the field. He's got Cooper. He makes the catch. That's Riley Cooper make the play. He was drafted in the 15th round by the Phillies at one point. You're right, John showed it. Foles on first, throwing for the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. It's Jackson. And the Eagles back in the game. Now let's watch the back of the end zone. Okay. Now it looks like Deshaun Jackson goes out of the end zone. Whoever we score. We are reviewing the ruling on the field. But that's a shot of the end line. And so with that, I don't know how the you can possibly the overturn it. There you go. for McCoy. He had him. Oh, you're talking about Jim Schwartz. We don't have shovels here at the stadium. <laughs> there it is. Henry with a low sinking kick that'll drop in the snow and Ross will pick it up. Ross with some room and Eagles cover him up. Colt. Stafford in the shotgun on first down. Four man rush wide open. It's Johnson. Williams. Second and one. It's Bell. Gonna be close. Eagles come with the pressure. Stafford over the middle, and he's got a first down. It's Burleson. Duff and sling it sidearm like that in the snowstorm. Bell on first down. Can't get the edge because Ball went right over to make the tackle after a short gain. Lions a yard shy of midfield. All kinds of time for Stafford. Looks to run it, and he gets. Tackle at the line of scrimmage. Down and eight. Stafford tipped at the line of scrimmage and a big play by Fletcher Cox. It's a waiting. And an opportunity for Deshaun Jackson to return a punt. That's a boomer. That's going to be into the end zone. Cooper in motion on first down. He falls with the pump fake. Throws on the run. Cooper! Has it. And a big play for the Eagles, which should take us to the end of the third quarter. Fourth quarter. And Foles throws it into the dirt. Because that's like picking up the, the rock and going to the schoolyard and throwing it around today. Foles pumps. Going deep. All he has for Jackson in the outthrow. That's hard to do to outthrow to Sean Jackson. And Nick Foles airs it out. We've got a penalty. Well, there's a personal foul. We didn't see the flag, and I still don't see. Oh, there it is. Hockley picked it up. Personal foul on the Lions. 40. Falls a lot of time again and again. He's going up top for Jackson. Knocked away at the last moment. Game, I think, for the first time for Philadelphia, but they give to McCoy. Big hole. Watch LaShawn McCoy. He's going to hide in there. Now come out and hurdle Delmas to free safety and take it to the house for the Philadelphia Eagles. Ball is going to throw a fade. Ertz, not close. And a flag. Holding defense number 90. Half the distance from the goal. Retry. Jackson in motion. They give to Bryce Brown, and this game is tied. Football equals couch gating. We're all tied in Philadelphia. They'll kick it off to Ross. He takes it out the one. He's got a punt return touchdown today. Patiently through the hole is Ross. One man to beat. Ross still on his feet. He's going to take it all the way. 98 yards. 
Lions may have moved as a flag. Before the snap, ball start, offense, number 71. Five-yard penalty. Retry. Anchors, it's blocked. It's dead ball. It's not a field goal. Extra point. Extra point. There's a knockout. The crowd's going nuts. And Bradley Fletcher thinks he's going to have a score, but it's an extra point. A blocked try in the NFL cannot be returned. It's dead the moment the kick fails. The try kick fails. And by Ross, I mean, that's the play that, that got it here. Well, it's excellent blocking. I mean, that's just hats on hats. And then you got Jeremy Ross against Alex Henry, the kicker. Advantage Detroit Lions. And what a football game he's having in this snow. And then Boykin back deep to return it. It's a returnable kick. Boykin at the six. And he slammed backwards. Boy, the two point conversion. And then Ross takes back the kickoff. It's McCoy, who's had himself a big second half. And a rhythm to this offense. Fall is going to throw it. Brad Smith. Good stiff arm from Brad Smith to get the first down. And fans want a flag. But there is no flag. And Deshaun Jackson's got to be careful. He's right in the official's face there. Eagles at their own 43 on a first down. It's McCoy sprinting through the line. McCoy! LaShawn McCoy! And we're all tied! And I want you to watch up front, but then we're going to see a block from Jason Avant. He's going to flash into your screen right about there. Look at that block by Jason Avant. Clears the way for LaShawn McCoy. That's Casey in motion. Blitz coming, falls. What a catch! Two-point conversion. It's Cooper. It's Philadelphia in front. In Philadelphia in a big game as both these teams chase a playoff spot. Eagles in front. A little pooch kick by Henry, and it's taken by the up man for the Lions. He gets out. See Lytic making the play. A team up by two. Plenty of time left in this game. Pressure coming, and Stafford had to get it away. Kendricks came flying in. Nation. Fake to Bell. Pressure again. Stafford has time now. Throws it a wobbler. And Calvin Johnson almost came back to it. Couldn't make it. Stafford on the run. He's got Bell for a Lion first down. There's a couple of flags, though. He's going to get offensive linemen downfield. That was a designed screen. It took so long that Riola's 10 yards downfield, and the officials are all over it. An eligible receiver downfield by the offense. Number 51. Five-yard penalty. Watch Riola right down. there, the center. Third and 15. It's a three-man rush and still pressure, and Stafford overthrows Bell. Does not, this weather does not lend to their style, but they've adjusted magnificently. Jackson's going to let it go in this thick snow. Nope, now he'll pick it up. And drag down is Jackson at about the 28-yard line here today. Foles is really heated up. So is McCoy. And McCoy with another beautiful move. With Sean McCoy. Can't be stopped. McCoy at 196 yards on the ground now. Foles on a broken play with a lot of room to run. And he's got a first down and more. And finally slides down inside the 25. It's Bryce Brown on the carry. And the stiff arm. First and goal, Philadelphia. And it is McCoy up the gut inside the five. Philadelphia getting after him. Detroit jumps. That's going to be an offsides on the Lions. They reach out and touch Evan Mathis. Neutral zone infraction defense. 
this is just the goal. On this play, the defender got into the neutral zone, and then he was touched. On the prior play, the defender never got in the neutral zone. Second and goal from the two. McCoy stopped a little shy. It'll be a third and goal. Really? It's a third and goal. McCoy is stacked up. Foles will sneak it literally. Waiting for the signal. Touchdown. That's where it helps to have a 6-6 quarterback. Nick Foles going to get behind Mathis and Peters. Great. Make it a two-score game. Falls incomplete. Looking for Jackson. Wild here in Philadelphia today with the snow. And the fourth quarter closing out games have been a big topic in Philadelphia. Well, here they've played from behind and they've been unbelievable on offense. This guy's been great too. Ross with two touchdowns. And he's looking for another one. He gets the edge and a big return again by Ross. I can't believe they kicked it to him. Pressure on Stafford. He's got a man, Bell, in the flat. Leaps over defender, Joy Bell. Inside the 25, he hopped over Nate Allen. Are in for the Lions. And it puts the Lions first and 10, and a fumble. Stafford back to get it, he drops it again. Eagles have it. Right. He'll get it again. And McCoy forward for four. I'm off. On three, and there's a flag. Neutral zone infraction, defense, number 92. Five-yard penalty, it's second down. McCoy tries to get outside, it's not there. Again, working time in the game on that play clock. Before, it's McCoy. And it's going to be awfully close. It's right on that line. And I think he's got it. He does. First down, Philadelphia. McCoy, what a move. Coming near side. Diving near the first down. Second and an inch. Chris Polk in the game. First down. Tullock meets him, but not before the first. The two. Get it off, it's Chris Polk through the line! Chris Polk is gonna score! Touchdown, Philadelphia! They could play this style of football. Just watch and enjoy them dominate the line of scrimmage. Mathis and Kelsey. Jason Peters, Lane Johnson. Todd Harriman's, what a job. Early up 14, but it's just been so hard. To even try with the weather they'll go poke to try to get it in he won't do it Chris fans liking this result 20 unanswered points for the Eagles to take a 14 point lead over the Lions here in snowy Philadelphia and they kick it again it's been a coverage problem all day long to the up man been handling this dominant group of defense alignment for the Detroit Lions now it's on the Eagles D a Stafford tries to engineer a comeback but can't hit Brandon Pettigrew Second and ten, Stafford dropped by Burleson. We've got a game break, checking in with Joel Klatt. Stafford dumps it off to Bell, who can't find it. Plenty of time, Stafford on courts, one tip, incomplete. Eagles will get it back. It was D'Amico Ryans who knocked it up in the air. Bryce Brown in the game now. And he gets stacked up at the line of scrimmage. Bryce Brown gets it. And he's going to get no gain. Into the two-minute warning. The Lions out of timeouts. Down 14. Look to Brown, who's going backwards. And that will take it to the two-minute warning. He's out of timeouts. Trying to run the game out. And they've got a big play. Gonna slide down safely, and the Eagles will run it out, run out the clock. They fixed that 
incredible win for the Philadelphia Eagles. I'll have to take one more knee if they so choose. That was at the break. They cleared it off. And now, as this game will run out, and the Philadelphia Eagles will improve to 8-5 and, and knock off the Detroit Lions 34-20 in Philadelphia today. Big win for Chip Kelly and company. For Molly McGrath, John Lynch, and my entire crew, I'm Kevin Burkhardt. Eagles win it here. Back to the studio. Kurt Menefee and the fellas take it away.